In this video, I am checking out this lightweight, portable Bluetooth speaker that's waterproof and has many features such as a built-in radio, up next. My name is Jeff and on this channel, I do different tech, toy and gadget reviews as well as different do-it-yourself projects for the home and automotive. So if you are new here, please consider subscribing. I also want to let you know that any of the specs and show notes about anything I talk about in this video are going to be down in the description below. All right, without further ado, let's get to the review. This is the GV10 Mini Hi-Fi Bluetooth speaker that's portable and lightweight. For starters, it has an IPX6 waterproof rating, and you're saying, what does that mean to me? You can take this thing outside, maybe in light rain, or if you have it by the pool outside, and maybe it gets splashed with some water, it's still going to work just fine. Just don't submerge it in water. Don't bring it into the swimming pool with you. Don't bring it into a bathtub. The speaker also has what's called TWS technology, which is pretty cool technology. It allows you to have two of these speakers and using the Bluetooth connection, connect both of them to the same device, such as your smartphone, uh, at the same time, and it will split the audio channels so that one speaker is getting the left and the other speaker is getting the right. So you can use these for stereo sound, uh, and it definitely has quite a bit of power to it. That power is coming from the two 5-watt drivers that are in each one of these speakers, and you're probably asking, what is a 5-watt sound uh, speaker driver? Uh, basically, it get, it's going to allow you to turn it up so it gets fairly loud for a little device like this. So this speaker has a rechargeable lithium-ion battery in it, so you're not going through the AA batteries or the AAA batteries. I think the rechargeable battery technology is where most Bluetooth speakers are at these days. This also has that rechargeable battery in it, so you can plug in your USB cable to it. Go ahead and charge this up. It says it takes about two hours to fully charge the speaker, and then you get roughly four to six hours of sound from it. I've been using it now for several hours and it's sounding great. So let's take a look at what the features of the speaker are, the button. So on the top you have the circle, you have the plus or minus, and you have the play button. On the back we have several different ports. We have our micro USB. The speaker's turned on and off with this switch here. And then we have our USB port or our uh, SD card or micro SD card slot. Uh, which you can insert right into the speaker and any music that you have loaded such as mp3s on either your flash drive or your uh, micro sd card it's going to locate those and it'll play whatever files i guess are numbered or in alphabetical order and then by using the plus or minus buttons on the top you can advance through tracks you can also use the plus or minus buttons here on the top to uh, if you long hold the plus or minus buttons, that'll raise or lower the volume of the speaker. If you have it in Bluetooth and you're listening to music on your phone, it'll advance you through music tracks either on your smart device or uh, playing off of a flash drive or micro SD card. With the speaker, you also get the included, uh, I say it's about two foot long, USB to micro USB cable. So the speaker is using the latest greatest 5.0 Bluetooth technology, which is supposed to be the clearest, most crisp sound. I think the sound coming out of the speaker sounds great. It also allows you to take and receive phone calls through the speaker. It does have a built-in microphone, and I have had the chance to test that. And the audio quality to me sounds great. I can clearly hear uh, what's on the other end. Also, I was able to have a, a conversation using the Bluetooth speaker, so the calling feature worked great. I was able to pair this Bluetooth speaker up with my phone. It actually connected very easily. I use a Pixel 2, a Google Pixel 2 smartphone, and was able to connect it very quickly. So you can pick up radio stations with this Bluetooth speaker. I've owned other Bluetooth speakers, and I know that a lot of the other Bluetooth speakers that are out there will not receive FM radio stations. This speaker does, and I thought that was pretty cool. So included with the Bluetooth speaker, you get a USB to micro USB cable, and you are gonna actually use this as the antenna, and you wanna plug it into the micro USB port on the back of the speaker. 
I also have longer USB cables uh, that I've used for other devices and I found that the longer cable you have the better reception you're going to get because it's acting like a bigger antenna. But once you have your antenna plugged in uh, you can use the circle button that's on the top to receive or to go into the radio mode on the Bluetooth speaker so you would hit that it'll go into radio mode and the first time that you are using the Bluetooth speaker in order to get the radio mode to work uh, best you're going to want to hit the play button that's on the top and let the speaker sit for a couple of minutes and what it's going to do is automatically scan all of the FM radio frequencies that are in your area to learn which frequencies have your local radio stations. Now that it's learned all of your local radio stations you can use the plus or minus buttons that are on the top of the speaker to surf up and down your radio frequencies dial. And again, if you don't have the antenna hooked into the back of your speaker, it's not gonna give you any clear reception of any of those channels and it's gonna have a hard time finding those radio channels. The kind of downside is there's no visual area to look where it's actually going to tell you what radio station you're listening to. You're just gonna have to figure it out surfing up and down the radio dials but it does stay on the last radio station that you're listening to. So you find your favorite radio station, and then if you switch modes to listen to Bluetooth off of your smartphone, and then later you wanna listen back to the radio, when you flip back to radio mode, it should go back, at least it was doing it for me, it was going back to the last radio station that I was listening to. All right, so I wanna give you guys a quick sound sample of the audio coming out of the Bluetooth speaker. The audio quality on this video isn't gonna do it justice for what's coming out of the speaker, but I do wanna give you guys a sample, so I'm gonna put my sunglasses on here. Feel free to rock out with me if you want. So my overall thoughts on this Bluetooth speaker. I'm very impressed with it. I was able to pick this speaker up on Amazon for just under $20 as of this recording. And I think for under $20, you get a lot with this speaker. All the different features that I mentioned, to me it's really useful to be able to connect and pick up radio frequencies. I think that's awesome. That's a feature that I have not seen in a lot of other Bluetooth speakers and that makes it really convenient for me to take this speaker camping or take it outdoors. Having that splash proof rating, that waterproof rating, if it gets a little wet, if I have it uh, outside and it begins to rain, knowing that I'm still going to have a working speaker afterwards, that's really nice. I was able to go across my entire house and still be able to pick up the signal. I also took this thing outside and I was able to walk about 60 feet away from the speaker before it was having connection issues. Uh, to me, that's a really good distance. I was halfway across my yard and I could still pick up the speaker just fine from my smartphone. So I like to find out from you guys, where do you typically use your Bluetooth speakers? Do you use them inside? Do you use them outside? Do you use them when you're traveling? What is your favorite spot, your must go-to spot for using your Bluetooth speakers? Let me know down in the comments section below. I love reading your feedback and I've learned a lot from your comments. Be sure to check out my best tech tips and reviews playlist, which has a lot of great tech, uh, Maybe you're looking for gifts for somebody else. Maybe you're just checking out cool tech for yourself. Be sure to check out that playlist. There's also a lot of cool tech tips in there as well to help you out. My name is Jeff. This is Tinker Forward. Be sure to make every day awesome, and I will see you in the next video.